In the last video, we saw how to add a material button component to our application. There were three simple steps. First step is to import it. Second step is to add it to the imports array. And third step is to use it in the HTML. Although this is perfectly fine, there is a better recommended approach. And that approach is to create a separate module that deals with importing and exporting material components. So in the terminal, let us use the CLI to generate a new module. ng, g for generate, m for module, followed by name of the module, which we will call as material. Once the command completes, you should have a folder called material inside the app folder. And within the material folder, you should have material.module.ts. In this module, we are only concerned with importing and exporting material components. So remove common module, as well as the declarations array. Instead, add an exports array. Now let's move the imports from app module to material module. So from app.module.ts, remove the import statement and add it in material module. Make sure to remove it from the imports array as well. Next in material module, create a constant material components and then include the map button module. Next, add this constant to the imports array and the exports array. Finally, include the material module in the app module. In the imports array, material module, which is going to auto import the material module from material.module.ts. Now let's restart the server. Control C and then ng serve dash O. And you can see that the raised button still has the same material styling. So what we have done is extracted material into its own module. So from the next video, to use any component, all we have to do is import it and add it to the material components array. This approach isolates material code and also keeps the app module nice and clean. All right, in the next video, let's take a look at typography in Angular Material. Thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. See you guys in the next one.